Hi everyone, this is Abuna Peter Zakby at St. Elias Maronite Catholic Church in Birmingham, Alabama, here to offer you a little reflection on today's Gospel. The Gospel comes from John chapter 3, verses 22 to 30. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. After this, Jesus and his disciples went into the region of Judea, for he spent some time with them baptizing. John was also baptizing in Enon near Salim, because there was an abundance of water there, and people came to be baptized, for John had not yet been imprisoned. Now a dispute arose between the disciples of John and a Jew about ceremonial washings. So they came to John and said to him, Rabbi, the one who is with you across the Jordan to whom you testified here is baptizing, and everyone is coming to him. John answered and said, No one can receive anything except what has been given him from heaven. You yourselves can testify that I said that I am not the Messiah, but that I was sent before him. The one who has the bride is the bridegroom. The best man who stands and listens for him rejoices greatly at the bridegroom's voice. So this joy of mine has been made complete. He must increase, I must decrease. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Well, throughout the New Testament, we see this emphasis, and, and we see this in the Gospel here, of uh, trying to emphasize that John is a good person who had an important role to play in salvation history, but he is not the Messiah. Because it seems like at the time of John, a cult started to form around him, that there was this group of people who believed that John the Baptist was the Messiah, and, and they started to honor him as the Messiah. And so John the Baptist here is trying to emphasize, I am not the Messiah. I'm a voice crying out in the desert, prepare the way of the Lord, but I'm not the Messiah. We see this emphasized throughout the New Testament. And really, this is kind of a recurring problem throughout the scriptures, is that whenever somebody is really great um, or, or just really holy, Oftentimes, people will over-glorify or over-revere them. We see this with Paul in the Acts of the Apostles when he performs a miracle for someone and then the natives in the land that he's evangelizing start to worship Paul as God. And Paul is horrified because nothing is worse for his mission of evangelization than for people to worship somebody who is not God. So, there's this recurring problem of over-glorifying or over-revering somebody who is good and holy and righteous. And I think maybe where this applies in modern context is in politics and pop culture, where, um, you know, sometimes we're just so desperate to find somebody in politics or in pop culture who's virtuous that, you know, sometimes we find somebody with virtue and we cling to them and we over-reverence them and we kind of idolize them. We start maybe to think that they're perfect, and they're not. And when we discover that they're not perfect, that can be very disappointing. And so I think what we all need to remember is that there's only one person who's perfect. Only one person is perfectly good. Only one person is our Messiah. That's Jesus Christ. Everyone else is going to be a mixture. They're going to have some good and some bad. And it's good for us to find people who are noble, who are virtuous, who are honorable, and to strive to become those people and to be inspired by them. But in the end, we can only fully place our hope in one single person, and that's Jesus Christ. Let's pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Good and gracious God, thank you for revealing yourself fully in Jesus Christ, amen. Help us to give ourselves fully to you, to recognize that only you are perfectly good. Only you are worthy of all of our hope and all of our trust. So help us to surrender deeply to you. Help us to reverence others in this world, but only reverence them in you, realizing that they are limited, that they are weak human beings, but you are God and worthy of all of our trust. In Jesus' name we pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. This is Abuna Peter at St. Elias Maronite Catholic Church in Birmingham, Alabama, wishing you a blessed day.